Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Battle Pithola and my name is Mujela Lua. Thank you for tuning in once again. Today we want to talk about how to withdraw an application before the court. You know that we've done a video, an extensive one on how to bring an application before the court and how to move said application. I've done, uh, actually I've done two videos on that. I'll put the links to them in the description box. I hope that you watch them. But today we want to talk about how to withdraw that application. I already had it in mind to do this video and then I got a mail last week from someone named Nonso. So Nonso, if you're watching this video, I dedicate this episode to you. So I promised you that, you know, I had already planned to make the video and so I was going to eventually do it. And now that you've asked the question, it will hasten it up. And so here it is, how to withdraw your application. Um, hello, my name is Nonso. I follow your YouTube channel and honestly, I've learned a lot. Now to the gist. I just got an info that I will be going to court tomorrow to withdraw a bail application that was earlier filed by my principal. I do not know the procedure in withdrawing the application and there is little info on this online. It would be deeply appreciated if you can teach me the steps I have to take in court in withdrawing the bail application. I honestly pray you get to read this mail tonight with the highest regards. Thank you so much, Nonso, for sending me this email. Uh, you touched something very important to me in your mail, and that's the fact that you checked online and there is practically nothing, you know, about it. So this is like um, a motivation for me to do so many of my videos. When I look online looking for like, some legal solutions or some, you know, assistance regarding my own practice, there are things that I do not find online. So necessity is laid upon me once I've experienced such things or once I have some knowledge about it, you know, to put the information out there so that other people who find themselves in my shoes will find light for their path and direction, you know, for their journey. So yes, I did reply him that night. People who mail me will bear witness to the fact that I try to respond to all emails as soon as possible. The next day, he fed me back and said that he was actually able to successfully withdraw the application and he was so excited that it was so easy. So I'm so happy that I was able to be of help to know so and I'm so excited that by making this video, I would be of help to so many more people. So let's get into the video, how to withdraw an application before the court. The first thing to know is that an application is a prayer before the court. You're asking the court for something. So very well, if you're asking, you can decide to unask. That is, if you've put something before the court, you can decide to tell the court, oh, I don't want to go on with it again. Oh, I don't want to ask you again. I don't want it granted again. Oh, I have uh, changed my position or something has happened. There's been a supervening event and it will no longer be necessary for the court to grant that order or to make a, you know, such decision over my prayers. So um, you get to court, you announce your appearance, you tell the court that you have a motion before the court. And then the court will um, probably ask the other party, if it's a motion or notice, the court will ask the other party if they've been served and they would uh, say they've been served. If uh, uh, they are responding to it, the court will ask them what's their response. If they are not opposing, they will say we're not opposing. If they're opposing, they would say that, oh my Lord, we are opposing and we filed our counter feed of it. Or we require some time to respond to file a counter feed of it. Whichever the case, the court will come back to you. And then you tell the court that you would like to withdraw the said application. It's very easy. All you need to tell the court is the reason why you're withdrawing it. You can give practically any tenable reason to the court. The court will not force you, you know, to uh, move an application that you brought on your own. You know, because, you know, it's your application. You can decide to do whatever you want with it. I'll try to see if I can put a live recording of the withdrawal of an application and the response of the other party to it that I was in at the end of the video. So if you watch till the end, you might just catch that bonus. So once you tell the court that you want to withdraw the application, the court will tell the other party that, oh, you've heard Mr. So, 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 he's saying that they want to withdraw the application. What's your response to that? So the other party will probably say, oh, they're not opposed to you withdrawing it because it's your application after all. And then the court will, you know, strike out the application. Yes, the court will strike out the application. It's that simple. Let me read out what I told Nonso in the email, part of what I told him. I said, um, so in steps, announce appearance, prosecution announces appearance, tell the court you have an application before it. There's prosecution here because it's a bail application that Nonso wanted to withdraw. So tell the court you have an application before it. 
but would like to withdraw it, then you give your reason. It could be that you filed the same motion in another court. It could be that, you know, uh, it's been overtaken by events. It could be any reason, any tenable reason, any solid reason, valid reason you can adduce or advance before the court for withdrawing said application. Then the court will ask the prosecution if they've heard you and what their response is. Usually they will say that they're not opposed to the withdrawal. And then the court will write and make a striking out order. And the end, la fin, au pari. So that's how it is. That's how to withdraw your application in court. Very simple. You brought it, you're withdrawing it. Just tell the court you're no longer interested in pursuing that application. Give your reason and the court will ask the other party if they're okay with it, you withdraw. Sometimes the other party might decide to ask for costs. The court will also make a ruling as to granting costs or not. So that's basically how to withdraw your application before the court so if you have any other questions too you can leave them under the videos directly or you can mail them to me at house of living stones at gmail.com like i said in the last video if you need the services of a legal practitioner you have to go and retain the services of a legal practitioner for that i am a legal practitioner if you prefer my own services you have to retain my services properly okay there's a limit to what i can do for you as um a youtuber content creator who's sharing a legal practice journey here and trying you know to proliferate you know legal knowledge online here there's a, a limit to what i can do for you so if you would like me to step directly into the shoes of a legal practitioner i'm saying this because i've got some emails and i'm sure that those concerned also know what i'm talking about you need to brief me properly retain my services properly or go see a lawyer in your vicinity that's all I have for you in this video. I will see you in my very next video. To do. My Lord, we are here at the instance. Malone, their application, they can decide to withdraw. We are not opposed to their withdrawal. No. We are not opposed to the withdrawal, Malone. No. That's God places.